Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jesse from BCC Board Repairs. Today I want to talk to you about my new favorite tool, the Seek Thermal Camera. I'm going to show you how to use the app, how to build a tripod like I did, and why you should get a macro lens. So let's get started. So this is a Seek Compact Pro Thermal Camera. You can find it on Amazon. Uh, there's actually a few different variations of it. There's a compact and compact XR, but the Pro model is the one with the best resolution. It costs $460, but it's well worth it. I would also recommend you go with the iOS version just because uh, it seems to be more stable from what I heard about the Android version. Also, I would recommend to uh, go check out our macro lens that we made specifically for the compact uh, thermal camera. It works on the compact Pro and the other compact uh, and compact XR models. Okay, so let me show you how exactly how to set up. So an, I have an iPhone 11 here that um, plugs in through a lightning cable extension. So as soon as you plug it in, you'll get a prompt to allow the camera to turn on. So you have this plugged in down to the thermal camera itself. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's a tiny little guy. It's attached uh, through this spudger that I essentially have glued uh, to the bottom of the tripod. So this is like a small cell phone tripod that I've um, you know rigged up together to work with this um, with this setup. Okay, so right now we have uh, just a seat camera directly above the, the motherboard. This one has a short. So you can kind of see the camera is kind of warm here, um, but there's no macro lens. So right now you have about a six inch distance and it's kind of hard to tell exactly um, what is heating up. So let me show you uh, the difference. No macro lens. Once we add a macro lens, we'll see the difference. So to install it, uh, what you want to do is place it over the lens itself. So if you can see here, it is uh, physically attached. Over the, over the lens and it's secured on. It's uh, perfectly uh, sized so it grabs onto the lens. Okay, so now that we have the macro lens on, we're gonna, we need to move it closer, about two inches away. So if you adjust your tripod, you will see um, where it gets in focus. And then you could actually twist the ring to adjust the focus. So there you can see a lot more detail now that you're closer. This is the benefit of the macro lens. This is why we recommend you get one. So now we have, have it set up. Let's go through an actual uh, diagnostics and troubleshooting. So this is an iPhone 7 Plus board. You can see it has some water damage up here. And this is where we're actually seeing uh, some heat from earlier part of the video. So let's go ahead and take the sticker off to see, uh, to see better under this area. So now we're gonna look, um, we have the motherboard uh, here without the sticker as you can see you can see a lot better the components so I have the board connected to the iPower Pro which then connects to my DC power supply so if we push the on button you will see uh, there's instant power consumption at the DC power supply there's 2.5 amps being pulled instantly so let's take a look at uh, the board and see what could be the cause. So I turned off the DC power supply, turned it back on, and you can see there's a short. You can, see, you can clearly see which component is the one that's shorted. One other thing is here in the app, there's a few different settings you can play with. Uh, each one gives you like different views. So if you click through to the uh, settings, you can see this, uh, this button here with the nine squares gives you the best view 
out of all these. I like to use this one uh, most of the time. Then there's also different color palettes. So uh, I found the Tyrian mode is the, the best one that gives you the uh, most clear view of the short on the board. So you can clearly see how clear the view is with my macro lens installed. So if you push the power, see which capacitor is shorted. If we pop off my macro lens, um, now you get a blurry view. Even if you try to adjust the focus, it doesn't really help. You do see like a heat, heat spot, but it doesn't really help. So definitely recommend uh, my macro lens, which is linked in the description. It will definitely improve your troubleshooting. So there are other thermal cameras on the market. Uh, there's a FLIR uh, thermal camera that's also the same style. It plugs into the iPhone through a lightning port. There's a Kianli thermal camera, which is a standalone system that plugs into your PC. I actually had that one and um, it worked great for about a year, but then it started having problems. So that's when I started looking for a new thermal camera to replace it with. The downside to both of these is that you gotta use them far away from the board. So if you have a motherboard you're working on, you'll see heat in the general area, but it's sometimes very hard to tell which exact component is the fault. So the main reason why I'm suggesting the Seek over the other thermal cameras is the support for a macro lens. This allows you to get really close to the board and see the exact component is problematic. Uh, I actually collaborated with Ben at Profixer to get this created and it's listed for sale on my eBay store. I'll put a link in the description. Well, there you have it. The Seek Compact Pro thermal camera with our macro lens. If you like the video, make sure you smash that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know your thoughts on this thermal camera system. Are you going to get a Seek thermal camera and the macro lens? Well, I'll see you in the comments and until next time. Bye.